Good morning. Good morning. Morning time. <laughs> so good morning, y'all. We are at the Sit Rep Podcast where we help you win in real estate. And today I got my two little chicken nuggets. Carson, little butt, Taylor Glenn. <laughs> That's her little nickname. And Anthony Applehead Glenn the third, okay? My son, Anthony. And today we are going to give you a trust master class is it is it nerves out now i, I just want to let y'all know that uh, carson passed gas a few minutes ago because she was nervous I, I did not yeah you did i heard it that was you <laughs> little butt passed gas i did not <laughs> yeah you Excuse did me, no, I <laughs> oh man i'm joking say before we get started i'm proud of you guys immensely proud of you even adults are scared to get on podcasts you guys are actually Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> what does that? What does that say? Uh, what I? What, what? When do I do that? You do it oh, every time you wake us up. <laughs> How does it make you feel? It makes it me feel like oh, I gotta wake up, but then yeah. I'm like. Morning time. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, each and every morning I, I say good morning to the kids. Good morning, y'all. We are at the Sit Rep Podcast where we help you win in real estate. And today I got my two little chicken nuggets. Carson, little butt, Taylor Glenn. <laughs> That's her little nickname. And Anthony Applehead Glenn the third. Okay. My son, Anthony. And today we are going to give you a trust master class so um without further ado carson how old are you i am nine years old you're nine years old okay and anthony how old are you and i am 10 years 11 years old you don't know how old you are anthony what's going on are you nervous no okay you're not nervous okay good 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 okay so we're gonna uh, get right into it we're gonna unpack that so first and foremost we want to say that we are proud of you everyone's proud of you guys for getting on the podcast and talking today um and uh, having the courage to do this. And I'm super excited uh, to learn from you guys. And guess what? What? Kids with trust. Kids in real estate. We're going to be doing this more often, too, so people get to know you guys. So, Carson, what's your favorite thing to do? My favorite thing to do is play on video games and hang out with you guys. Play on video games? What video games are you playing? Roblox. Roblox? Okay, cool, cool, cool. What about you, Anthony? What's your favorite thing to do? Well, I like to read, I like to do math, I like swimming, I like playing basketball, and I also like playing video games, too. You like playing video games? Cool, cool, cool. Carson, you like to run, too, huh? Yep, I love, I love swimming, and too, and I love to go ice skating. Okay, all right. So, so let me ask you a question about the, um, the running portion. So, so you like to run, Carson? Yes. Okay. How fast can you run? I don't know. Fast. <laughs> You're pretty pretty competitive, huh? Yes. Who's a better runner? Mm. Look at Anthony's <laughs> face. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> so, uh, so Anthony's a better. You're a better runner. Yes. Okay. And Anthony, what do you do better than Carson? Swim, maybe. A little bit of swimming, and I, I'm a little bit smarter than her. No, Damn! you're not smarter. You guys are equally smart, right? No. Yes. <laughs> no. But you guys help each other, right? We do. Yes. That's cool. That's cool. So, Carson, let's get right into it. I got a couple of questions for you. Um, what is a trust? Can you explain what a trust is? A trust is something that protects you from probate, protects you from some, someone taking your assets. Okay. And can you explain to me um, what probate is? What is probate? Probate is going to court. Okay. Anthony, can you expand on that? Yeah, sure. I can elaborate on that. Trust is a legal agreement that helps the trustor transfer assets to the trustee tax-free. So, Carson, can you tell me what OR does? OR gives. And what does EE do? EE receives. Okay, can you give me an example of that? Like a trustor. Trustor makes the trust mm -hmm. and gives the trust. That's correct. And then what does the beneficiary do? Beneficiary receives the trust. And they benefit from the trust, right? A benefit from trust that's good and anthony do you have anything to add to that so the beneficiaries receive on the operation of the business mm -hmm. and 
Once the settler dies, the settler has to choose one or more executors. Okay. All right. And um, can you give me an example of an executor? An executor is someone who's going to execute the will. So basically, like, carry out the whatever is in the will, correct? Yes. Very good. So, Carson, can you tell me um, the two types uh, of most common two types of uh, wills? Irrevocable and revocable. That's correct. Okay. And what's the difference between the irrevocable and the revocable trust? Re a revocable trust is e can easily be changed. An irrevocable trust is nearly impossible to be changed. Okay. Anthony, can you give me an example of that? Say the settler wanted to give a certain item to the trustees. Mm-hmm. It's nearly impossible to change that, and in order to change it, you need to go to probate, and for probate, you need an attorney, which could cost up to 30% of your of the value of your assets. Okay, so like if I had $100,000, it could cost a lot of money, like $30,000 plus, yes. because the attorney's going to get the bag, right? Yes. Yeah. We don't want to do that, right? No. no, we don't. Very good. So we talked yes. about uh, the examples of what a trust is, right? We talked about the difference between, here's a question that I have for you. So Carson... Um, so you've learned about wills and trust. Can you, can you tell me the difference between a will and a trust? A trust protects, a trust will not die with the, with the person. A will will, a will will die with the person. That's a really good explanation on how you uh, broke that down. Anthony, can you give me an example? Yes, I can give you an example. A trust protects you from having to go to probate and fight for any asset the settler wanted to pass on to the trustees. A will does not protect you from going to probate. You can go, anyone who has previously lived in the house, done anything for the house, or taken care of any of the trustees can go to probate and fight for anything, any asset the settler is passing on to the heirs. That's good. So, um, and Carson, what what is an example <coughs> of an heir? An example of a heir, an heir, is, is someone who receives assets from the person. That's good. So give me an example, Anthony. An heir is someone who is entitled to the asset of the settler. An example is we are entitled to the assets of our father once he passes. Who told you you was entitled to my assets? Well, uh, <laughs> who said that? Who, who told no. you you was going to get that? <laughs> okay, that's, that's a really good a a example. So, Carson, I have a question for you. Yes. If dad was to pass away, okay, um, what would happen if I had a, a will? If you, if you passed away and had a will, we would have to go to court, to pro, which is probate, and, f and fight for any assets that you would want to pass on to the trustees. Okay. And then if I had a, a trust, right, what would happen? If you died with a trust then we would not have to go to court to fight for assets you wanted to pass on to the trustees. Very good, very good. Um, so, Anthony, I have a couple of questions for you. Good job, Carson. So, Carson talked about what a trust is, right? Carson also talked uh, the difference between a will and a trust, the purpose of having a trust. Um, Anthony, what is, a, what is the difference between revocable and irrevocable? Revocable trust can be changed, and irrevocable can't. That is correct. What would happen if I had a, um, a irrevocable trust? What would happen? If you wanted to change the irrevocable trust, you'd have to go to probate and change that. And all of the people uh, within the, the trust mm -hmm. have to make the decision, correct? Yes. And it's very difficult, right? Yes. Good job. Okay. So, um, Anthony, what is an intangible asset? An intangible asset is something you cannot touch. An example is a bond a mutual fund, a bank deposit, which are also financial assets. Okay. And Carson, what's a tangible asset? Can you give me an example? A tangible asset is something that you can feel and touch. An example is cars, watches, money, something valuable. Like right? jewelry? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. And um, what is a trademark? Can you tell me what a trademark is, Carson? Yes. I can tell you what a trademark is. A trademark is a logo or something like so, <coughs> something like your that logo on your hat, Atlanta. Okay, all right, that's cool. And how do you protect the logo? A trademark. A trademark, that's cool. And Anthony, can you tell me um, what a copyright is? 
A copyright is the protection of your intellectual property. You want to go to a lawyer and say, I want to copyright my intellectual property, which is intangible rights. Okay. And um, Carson, give me an example of a, I'm sorry. Which are intellectual property is intangible rights that are of your intelligence. We got breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. The Win in Real Estate and Sit Rep Podcast has released our wire mentoring and coaching platform for real estate professionals. Ian, can you talk about the Brand Ambassador course? Hey, all right. The Brand Ambassador course. That is a great, 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 great course that we put together all that goes through all the different little nitty gritty details about the veteran or excuse me about the VA loan so that way you can learn everything that you want about it if you're a real estate professional it puts you right in track to be able to represent these veterans to your best abilities and then make sure that they are maximizing the opportunities of that loan as well as it gives you access to the network that we built through accredited veteran uh veteran advocates to make sure that we are serving the community as best as possible. Okay. And a cliff note of that is that if you're a real estate professional and you want to learn how to increase your VA business and get referrals from us out of our Facebook group and from our, all of our social media platforms, get on the, um, the brand ambassador course with the veteran homeowners club. And if you're a real estate professional and you learn how to kill it in real estate, Okay, or when in real estate through our mentoring and coaching program. Okay, we have our wire mentors where you're going to talk, we're going to teach you guys about how to structure your business as a real estate professional to get from eight, six to eight figures. Okay, all right. So, Carson, if I wanted to write a book, what would, what would I protect a book with? A copyright. A copyright, okay. And um, what is a patent, Carson? A patent is is a design like your your jacket and my jacket. Okay, or the microphone, right? Yep. Okay, <laughs> she said yep. And um, why would you want to patent something? You would want to patent something so nobody, so nobody can invent the same thing and call it theirs and make money off of it, right? Yes. Okay, so let me let me let me see if I can do a little test right now. Okay, y'all ready? Yes. Y'all up for it? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Carson, if I had a camera, how would I protect it if I made a camera? A patent. A patent. Why? Because it's a design. That's correct. And something you invented. That is correct. If, what about Anthony's glasses? How would I protect Anthony's glasses? A patent. A patent. That's correct. Okay, Anthony, Um, what if I wrote a business plan, how would I protect that? You would copyright it. I'd copyright my business plan because it's my what? Intellectual property. And what is a business plan, Carson? A business plan is how is the secrets how you started a business. Like the secret salsa, like yeah. the ingredients to the secret chocolate chip cookies, right? Yes, like yeah. the structure recipe. <laughs> the, the recipe, right, of how you started a business, correct? Yes. That's good. That's good. So... Why do you want to know about these things when you're creating a business, Carson? In your own words, like if if I wanted to put all of this stuff in a trust, why would it be important to put this in a trust? Why would daddy want to put all of these things, all of the businesses and everything else in a trust? You would want to put this in a trust so you don't have to go to probate. You, you would also have to want to put this in a trust so we would not have to work as hard as you to become like you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good answer. Anthony, what do you think about that? What else do you have to add to that? Well, you want these you want to do these things so if you did create something in the future, you won't nobody will copy it. That's correct. Make money off it. And then you don't want other people benefiting from what we've created, correct? Yes. No, you don't. Okay. Um, Anthony, um, can you explain to me in your own words what generational wealth is? Generational wealth is one generation passing on to the n another, which passes on to another. Can you give me an example? An example is if the trustor's kids received from the truster, and then the trustor's kids um, soon became the trustors and passed on to their kids. That's correct. So like three generations, you want the reason why trusts are very important is because when I pass away, you inherit what we've built. Correct. Mm -hmm. And then from there, um, 
you guys benefit from that in the trust because you are the beneficiaries. The beneficiaries, right? And then the trustor does what? They give. And then the trustee does what? Receive. And then the beneficiary what? Receives. Receives, right? So then when I pat when your kid, when you get old and you pass away, <coughs> then you benefit from the companies that I built, correct? Mm -hmm. All right. And then why is a business plan important? What's in the, what, what is within a business plan that's important? Why do you want to have a business plan? What's a mission, Carson? A mission is something that a business has to complete in the present day. That's good. And then, um, and then what's the vision, Anthony? The vision is what the company wants to become in the future and what it wants to do in the future. That's correct. Okay. So now that we've all talked about, you guys did an outstanding job. Okay. So is there anything else that daddy forgot to ask you that you would like to share? Is there anything else in, um, in the sit rep podcast in regard to trust that daddy did not cover? I'm trying to think of some questions we didn't ask. Well, um, so what's the difference between student loans and receiving money from the trust? Good question. So, Student loans basically are you're borrowing money versus utilizing uh, the assets or the value that your your uh, your your intangible and tangible assets have have done. So essentially, what that means is that instead of getting a student loan debt, you know, and starting with student loan um, and going to college, you can use the money that you've created from the businesses to pay for your student loans. Therefore, you don't have to work or get a loan. So you start at zero. That makes sense. Okay. What about you, Carson? Is there anything that you'd like to ask about mm -hmm. trust? I'd like to I'd like to ask, how does trust protect you from going to probate? Okay. So basically trust protect you from going to probate because it's a written thorough document that is not regulated like a will is. So the trust is like thorough instructions of what are supposed to happen to your asset in the events that you die. So the example would be Daddy has a property that's $500,000, okay? And then daddy wants to, doesn't want you to sell that property, right? We want, I want you to benefit from the rental income, like the properties that you guys have. Carson, where's your two properties at? Florida and Texas. And Anthony, where are your properties at? Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and here in California. Okay, so, so basically what happens is that if the trust, if, you, if daddy passes away, you inherit the property and the tenants will pay that and then that will benefit you and make you have passive income, okay? Uh, passive income basically means that you're working, that's active income, you get paid for your work. Passive income means that you don't have to do nothing and money comes in because somebody is paying you for what you already own, okay? So the trust will protect you from doing that because you don't own it, the, 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 uh, the trust owns all of the assets, okay? Does that oh, make sense? I, rem I remember something I forgot to cover. Yes. Would you like to cover? Um, so the trust owns every single property, and if you owned it, which is technically a will, the anyone who has been in the property or, or has previously taken, previously taken care of us can go to probate and fight for the will. The assets in the... The assets in the will. That's correct. So so the will can be what? Contested, correct? Mm -hmm. So that basically means that the will can, somebody can come after uh, the will in probate and say, hey, I cut the grass or I did something within the house, and they can come after the assets, right? Yes. Okay, so let me ask you guys a question. All right, you're ready for this question, top secret question of the day. What is it that daddy has that you want to have? What? Your swag. <laughs> my swag? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you want my swag? Okay. All right. Anthony, what about you? You said money. Mm -hmm. So you, you want the money, Jack? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I want the swag too. Okay. You got the swag. Okay. Swag gets passed down, Jack. All right. So, so Carson, what do you want to be when you grow up? A doctor. You want to be a doctor? Why? I want to be a doctor because it, it seems interesting once I've seen it in movies. Okay. And other shows on netflix okay all right and anthony what about you i want to be an engineer <coughs> okay you want to be an engineer why i want to be an engineer because engineers use a lot of math and i feel like math math is one of the things i'm really good at okay and i have something else 
Carson, I do have a question for you. All right. Somebody told me that you guys got straight A's in school. Is that right? <laughs> now, um, what's the hardest part about school? The hardest part about, about school, for me, it's probably science. Science? Okay. Well, guess what? You got to know science to be a doctor. You know that, right? Yep. Okay. And what's your favorite subject? Math. Why? Because it's fun. Math is not fun. You yes. know, daddy sucks at math. I love math. What do I do when y'all ask me a math question? Go ask Auntie Nettie. Go oh. ask Auntie Nettie. Call, That's good. Like, call mom. <laughs> that is correct. Daddy does not do any math <laughs> exercises. Um, Anthony, what's your favorite subject? Math. Why? It's fun. Math is not fun. Where are y'all getting this from? Okay, so so guys, this has been a really fun podcast. Uh, I'm so proud of you guys. So um, I'm looking forward to doing it. Y'all want to do another one? Yes, definitely. Yes. Yeah? Is it, is it nerves out now? Yes. I, I just want to let y'all know that uh, Carson passed gas a few minutes ago because she was nervous. I, I did not. Yeah, you did. I heard it. That was you. <laughs> Little and butt passed gas. I did not. <laughs> yeah, you did. Me, no, I didn't. <laughs> oh, man, I'm joking. Let me ask you a question. So starting this podcast, how did you feel at first? I felt nervous and Why? excited. <laughs> nervous and excited at the same time? Yes. And then and then what changed though? It changed because you told us what to do and you let us take a break to think about what we had to say. That's good cuz you already knew the information, right? Yes. Okay. And then now that it's done, why why does it make it easy? Because after you did it, Anthony well, you know what to do next time. You know the mistakes that you need to fix. And you get more confident. That's correct. You do get more confidence. And I'm going to ask you guys one more question, okay? What is your daily routine? Wake up, make our beds, brush our teeth, floss, wash your face, floss, read, exercise, eat, chill. Chill, right? Yeah. <laughs> Why is it important to do those? Why is it important to invest in yourself first before you do anything else? You can be so you can be ment mentally strong and smart. That's right. Now it's cool to be smart, right? Yes, and physically oh. strong too. Now, how does it feel to be smart in school? Honestly, like when you're doing the work and you know the answers, how does it make you feel? Awesome. Good. Why does it make you feel awesome? So, because I know I'll get all the answers right. And you're prepared, right? Yes. Okay, Anthony, what is the... Now, let me uh, no, let me ask y'all this. Carson, yes. what... Here's a question that I have for you. What does Anthony really, really reek at? What does he suck at? <laughs> What's something that he does really bad? Make his farts not stink. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me just... Let me just... Let me... Let me. No. <laughs> Carson. Wait. Meet <laughs> <laughs> you outside basketball court at home. All right. Have the, and I, and I know control. something that he that he really sucks at keeping his room clean. Okay. Hey. So so Anthony, what does now you get to get her back? What is something Carson really sucks at? <laughs> <laughs> What's something Carson really sucks at? She really sucks at telling the truth. Oh, uh oh, <laughs> she gets scared, right? Yes. Okay. Well, now that you did the podcast, it's easy, right? Yes. Yep. Just like running. I remember when we used to run outside. Anthony um, used to be breathing like a like a boomer. A dead, <laughs> he, he, uh, he no, told a dead me once we were on the run. He told me that you would always ask you, ask you. Are we there yet? Yeah, you did ask, <laughs> are we there yet? But now when you do it as a routine, it becomes easier, right? Yep. So, man, this has been a really good podcast. Today, guys, you have, you just witnessed Carson and Anthony um, a go every little components about explaining what a trust is. The next podcast, we probably will be going over simple things like checking and savings account, the difference between um, what compound interest is and how that works, okay? And then also we'll be coming and just having them come on the mic and talk about their day, okay? So you guys get to know Carson and Anthony. You guys want to say anything to the camera before you leave? Have a good day, and thank you for watching. Yep, have a good day. Um, 
don't stay in bed all day <laughs> like I do. And <laughs> like after, I love to do. after you do everything you need to do, you can relax. That's correct, because you earned your leisure, right? Get to relax after you earn your leisure. And how do you, what's the two ways to earn your leisure? Two things that we got to do first. Read and exercise. Read and exercise first, and then we get to do what? Chill. Relax, chill. relax and chill, right? Good job, guys. Bye.